We're going to talk about two words today, greed and generosity, based on the story told by Jesus himself. Our gospel reading for the Sunday, the eighth Sunday after Pentecost, is Luke chapter 12, verses 13 through 21. Let me just read that for you quickly. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. Jesus replied, Man, who appointed me a judge or an arbiter between you? Then he said to them, Watch out! Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. And he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant harvest. He thought to himself, What shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, This is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And there I will store my surplus grain. And I'll say to myself, You have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves, but is not rich toward God. Jesus warns us in verse 15 to be on guard against greed because life isn't about accumulating temporal possessions. Life is about being rich toward God according to verse 21. Greed is a symptom of seeing the world only from the perspective of what's in it for me and not thinking about how our lives impact the lives of others. On the other hand, being rich toward God, which Jesus promotes in verse 21, has to do with the concept of generosity. And if you look at 1 Timothy uh, chapter 6, verses 18 and 19, it says, command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. See the difference? Greed is only temporal. It passes. When we leave this world, everything that we accumulated is left behind, except the treasure that we've stored up through generosity and thinking of others. John Wesley is an example of this. He said that you should earn as much as you can, save as much as you can, and give as much as you can. And it's told that uh, he determined early in his career that he was going to live on his 28 pound salary. And so when he got a raise to 30 pounds, and then 60 pounds, and 90 pounds, and 120 pounds at near the end of his lifetime, uh, he continued to live on 28 pounds and give away everything else. What characterizes your life? Greed or generosity? Hmm, I wonder if this story is talking about me.